Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 battle for you today and this one is an insanely close battle uh, sent in by a member of the Discord and a sub. This is a 2v2 between Tylus and Pontus versus Athens and Gete. And yes, this, if you want to join the Discord to send in your own replays then the link is down below in the description. I uh, fully recommend you do so, some great people know who are always looking for battles and uh, Get a chance to uh, get involved in some scenarios as well, which then can be featured on the channel, perhaps. Um, but yeah, so this is an insanely close one. This was sent in by the same guy that sent in one of the close, what is, I'd say, the probably the closest siege battle I have ever seen. And he says this one is even closer. Um, I don't know if that can physically be done. We'll have to see. But um, we will have to see whether he can uh, top that with a uh, field battle. I always think sieges are a bit more epic than uh, pitch battles, but we'll have to see how epic this one is. But I mean, he's got some Celtic warriors here going in first, and it looks like he's going to be met with some noble swords. Um, this is going to be a very one-sided fight. I mean, he's got some heavy spears on the flanks and some mercenary axe warrior, ax warriors, but I think these Celtic warriors are going to get outmatched on just about every single front. And here they go, clashing in. What a mess this front line is already. Oh, people getting tipped over shields. Already, look at this poor guy. He's already down there. Just like, no, I'm already dead. So quickly out of this fight. But yeah, so I mean, these Celtic Warriors are pretty light uh, infantry. You can see here, light melee. They're fighting against medium and very heavy stuff. They're going to have a tough time. Tyus is really going to have to rely on his uh, tribe warriors, which are by far and away one of the strongest units in this game. And also the cheapest, um, but it looks like his light horse is also losing on the flanks. He's got noble horse here. He probably wants to send some infantry out here to go and support this fight. His general is doing exactly that. It's Oathsworn general. But you can see here these uh, tribal warriors are flanking around. And they're destroying these heavy spears. Which they would because it's sword versus spears to start with. So they're doing a good job there. Then on the other flank, what do we have? We have Pontus and uh, Athens just about to clash. We have... Um, well, we have Pontic Swords against Thorax Swords. Thorax Swords surprisingly losing decisively. I'm surprised it's heavy melee versus very heavy. And these uh, Thorax are losing. Which is why I, like, Thorax are so, I don't know, unreliable. Because, like, fights like this, you would imagine they should win this fight. But no, they're going to lose this fight to uh, some Pontic Swords. Who are, a lot, who are a lot cheaper than them. Well, not a lot, but they are cheaper. Pontus uh, also has some, like, I don't know if he's brought any, but he's got, like, chariots and stuff like that. I should have possibly brought some of them. But his general's already out here. Pontic uh, Royal Cavalry already coming over to help um, fight. Well, also some citizen cavalry. Now some uh, hot plates going in. So, I mean, Athens is, like, already throwing his stuff in to help against Dacia. He's got Hippias Lancers over here already. So, I mean, this is a really fast-paced battle at the moment. Uh, but these tribal warriors should chop down these Hippias Lancers in time. But Pontus does need to be careful of his general. He's just getting stuck in combat here. Don't want him to die. Uh, I mean, he's also getting... Oh, no. Okay, I thought he was about to get jabbed with the general. But no, that's Thoros Spears. Uh, they're coming to save their general. And there's uh, some naked swords there. Just absolutely destroying some... Uh, well, I think it was just some hot plates. Yeah, that's a really good play. Get these naked swords around the flank now. Instead of sending them in straight in, and you could do a lot of damage. Like the Thorax Swords now are starting to. Oh, I thought they were starting to win, but they're not. They are really having a having a rough time. And in the center of the fight, it already looks like Athens' generals already had to be sending Thorax hot plates. I mean, he's won this fight here. See, this is very strange. Like he's won that fight against the Pontic Swords, and he's going to win some of these other ones. I know he's flanking now, but that individual one over there, which was unsupported, he was losing straight off the bat. Very strange. But he looks like Athens is going to win the majority of the infantry fight. And the cavalry fight, he's, I mean, ever so slightly going to lose, I think, is Athens. Um, but yeah, there's not much else that, I mean, Pontus is already running out of stuff. Pontic Peltas here really might want to start sending these Thorax Spears to, like, take up these uh, Thorax Hot Plates. Thorax Hot Plates, Thorax uh, Swordsman. His Thorax Hot Plates are here. But Athens is, yeah, looks like he's almost going to defeat uh, Pontus quite quickly. How uh, Tylus is going to pull this back, I have no idea. But he's routing the flanks. He's now going to go after the Mercenary Axe Warriors on the flank as well. All he has to do is kill these guys and then work his way down the flank. Surround everything. 
These tribal warriors are nasty. But I'd say at the moment, like, look at the balance of power. It's not in favor of Tyrus and Pontus. They are really struggling. And what is this fight over here? Look at this. I mean, it's just a collection of generals. And the Dacia's general is about to break, which is huge for Dacia. Or De Gete, I should say. And there he goes. He's gone. Uh, and then I've got a few tiny little bits of spear horses in here. We've got Citizen Cav and Cavadocian Cav. But we've got some really nasty Cav in here. We've got and some infantry. Oathsworn, of course. Yeah, you've got Noble Horse and you've got um, Pontic Royal Cavalry. And there you go. They're going to win that fight quite easily. And now, guess hey, looks like he's in a bit of a weak spot if they can just mobilize all this stuff. Then someone needs to charge into the back of this hot plate unit. But Pontus does need to get back over to this side because Athens is looking really strong. He's it's looked like he's initially having a really rough time. He seems to be turning it around. Now some archers coming in. It's desperate times for desperate need call for desperate needs. And archers get sent into the fray. I at least flank with them. Um, but I mean they try and chase down some Pontic Peltas here. And this is gonna be painful because the general has given the order. Mow down these archers, I think, is the order. We're about to see what will be a devastating charge. Here we go. And there they go, the archers. There you go, flying. I mean, this could have been a bit more epic, but I think the cavalry's just absolutely knackered. It's just run across the entire battlefield a couple of times. But, I mean, those archers, are yeah, they're wavering. They're gone. The damage is done. Those Pontic Peltas could probably go in there and rout them now. But the general's going to go for another charge over here. But he's only tired. He's got plenty of energy left in him then. He's only tired. Bring down the lance. And in they go. Plowed in. And they did okay. I mean, they just got to just do a couple of charges like that on weak spots. Just avoid uh, anything nasty. Tyler's actually still looking really rough. Um, he's just got archers left. And his cavalry really needs to get in it. I mean, Pontus might want to bring his cavalry over and, like, quickly route this stuff. I mean, how the tribal warriors are no sort of, There's literally no, none of them left. Pontus is still looking a lot more better off than uh, Tylus, than it would seem. But, I mean, yeah, you can see he's just chasing down archers. These Dacian heavy bows are really good as well. I personally think, I think they're pretty, a pretty solid unit. Especially if they can, like, all directly fire at one unit. I mean, most archers are just are good like that. But, um... These station heavy bows are surprisingly hard to kill. But they are getting easily killed now by this uh, cavalry. And there they go. They're gone. Needs to move on to the next one. This cavalry here. Yeah, he's charging into like all the archers. That are, any vulnerable archers. Chopping them down. It was really well played here by the uh, Pontic General. Move on into the next one. Either go and support your uh, ally over here. Or your own troops. Actually, not even your ally. Or yeah, go and take out these, uh, uh, this arch unit here. It looks like Athens is probably going to take this side, and it's going to be very, very close. I'd say definitely in favor of Athens. If you look at the Palance power, uh, it's still not looking good for the um, Tylus and for Pontus. They really need to get some uh, routed units soon. A uh, route this hot plate unit would be uh, a good start, but I don't see these Thoros spears doing that at all. They are outmatched. And there's Thorax sword in here, I'm pretty sure, as well. Yeah, they're not going to do so well with this Thoros Spear. They are losing. As long as they can keep generals alive, they should be okay. If they can take out the uh, Thorax Hoplite General, that would be very good. And uh, certainly will certainly do a lot of damage. But, I mean, there isn't... A, I mean, a reassuring thing for, like, Tylus and stuff is that they don't have any fresh units to Athens. 75 men, 59 men. These ones will look pretty beaten up. 78, I mean, they're pretty, 78 though is still a pretty hefty amount, because, I mean, I don't even think, and these Oswald are at 90, and these uh, Tri Warriors at 37, yeah, I mean, most of their infantry is really beaten up as well, they don't have any fresh stuff themselves. This cavalry here needs to, it's actually losing slightly, how is it losing? These guys are winning and they're wavering, that's not how it works, guys, it should be the other way around. I guess they're that scared of the horses, they are pretty scary. And they're about, well, they're also about to get, uh, oh, yep, both sides are wavering now. Okay. Who will break first? It'll probably be the Dacians, I think, because the Thoros Spears are about to arrive. Oh, no, there you go, the cavalry broke first. I was wrong. 
Now they need to quickly run to those uh, Dacian bows, but they're going to get killed by the Pontic, saw, uh, Pontic Cavalry and Thoros Spears. And here they go. They're trying to get a volley off and it's not going to happen. They're going to get cut down and then mown down by Cavalry. Oh, that's just unlucky. But yeah, then this is it. This is all that there is. I can't see a way that these guys can pull this round. How they can get this, like, save this. I mean, Pontus is still fighting the good fight over here. If he can win this fight, I mean, he's, oh no, he's, he's outnumbered in the qualities with the Thorax Swords. I mean, I believe in these Thoros Spears, but I don't think anyone else does. I don't think Athens believes in them, because he sent his entire army away from them, just to come and now deal with this, what is left of four units. He's now going to send his Pontic Cavalry all the way over here to try and take out this, uh, the uh, sword unit, which is not a bad idea. It's an isolated unit, but you're also leaving three infantry def units to defend on their own. It's going to be a rough one. This is going to be rough, but it is close. I can take, I can say that. I can say that the it is close. It's going to be a very epic ending. So, hope you guys have enjoyed so far. If you have, then please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. But here we go. Let's see. Let's watch the O Sworn go into a final, which will surely be their final charge. There is no no one else to fight. It's either going to be they come out victorious or they go in and they die. But they are exhausted. Moving so slow getting to the front line. And here they come. The cavalry is going to charge here. And this is really a uh, really good play here. Oh, they're going to go after this tiny unit of Thorax Sword instead. An even better idea. Oh, jeez. Flattened that uh, Thorax Sword unit. Look at them. They're all just on the ground. You should be dead. You just stay dead. I mean, they are wavering now. That's 16 men left. That was, I think that was a unit of 30, 40. Uh, and they're going to get a good charge off here as the cavalry. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's not going to be good for morale. It's the difference is having cavalry left uh, for the, uh, well, I guess you say Pontic and Tylus alliance. Athens has got no cavalry, so he's very susceptible to this. And he is wavering. But I can't see any way. I mean, these hot points here are going to beat these Thoros Spears for sure. I mean, these Oswald might take out quite a few of these guys because they're nasty. But he needs to keep his general alive. He needs to be careful with his charge. He can't go just in charging into blobs too uh, wildly. I mean, he's lost his other um, tribal warrior unit, which is a shame. Gonna have to charge these hot plates again. 20 men. Not a bad idea. Get them off the field. And they're gone. Athens just need to keep all of his troops in this blob here. Because, I mean, Pontus can't really charge in. His men are wavering again, though. I mean, but Pontus is also wavering. Jeez. It is gonna be close. Another charge from a uh, the Pontic Royal Cav might be needed. What's the general at? 52. He's losing. He's losing. Oh my gosh. Is Pontus going to do this? Well, and obviously Tylus needs to have a massive contribution as well. His infantry are holding the line, allowing Tyus to do this. It's just hammering Anvil. And there you go. This Thorax Sword is going to waver as well. How is this happening? Balance Power is still not moved um, at all. I mean, the Thoros Spears are about to break as well. But if they can take out this Thorax Hotplight general... Then anything is possible. It's Oswald are losing decisively. There's 36 of them. They're going to get ready. They're going to prepare for a charge. This is generally he's going to try and counter charge. And he did kind of do it. Oh, jeez. These Pontic Cavalry need to get out of there now. The general is focusing them down. These Thorax Swords, yeah. I was going to say, these Thorax Swords now are going to be are going to allow the general to win this fight. It's like they're pulling out here. They're going to waver. Then will the Hot Plates be able to turn around and do their damage? But I don't know. 33, yeah, the general's wavering now. Oh, and the Pontic Royal Cavalry's wavering. No, surely not. It's gonna go, it's literally gonna, it's gonna end like this. It's not gonna end like this. Yes, pop some rallies. They did it, they routed that Thorax Swords. Oh my gosh, and now they're gonna take out this general. And the general's wavering for Athens. Oh my gosh, this one is insanely close. And there you go, the general for Athens is gone. So now the balance of power is surely in favor of... I mean, it's still saying it's in favor of uh, Athens, probably just due to numbers. But these two general units are still alive. They still have their generals. And now the top plate unit, it's just got to run somewhere and just try and brace. But it's... I don't know if it will. Can't really go anywhere. There's cavalry waiting. Can't outrun the cavalry. Or the Pontic Royal Cavalry. Jeez, that was a nasty charge. And they... 
They're not quite gone yet. Send the O Swarm back in. They need to pin these men down so the uh, cavalry can just constantly charge. 16 of them left. Oh my gosh. I'd say... Oh, there's another Athenian uh, unit. Jeez, you're kidding me. Oh yeah, this is the one that was fighting like the Thoros Spears all the way over here in the corner. Oh my gosh, it's not quite over yet. No wonder this uh, balance power has not shifted then. General needs to pop another rally. Athens needs to go back to back, so for this unit facing this way against the Oswald and the hot plates facing another way. But there's another great charge! That was not a bad charge at all. The hot plates, yeah, they've gone from like 70 to 60 odd. But I mean, the cavalry's dying like a couple every time, so the charges each time are worse and worse. These Thorax swords are losing very quickly. I mean, they lost a general recently. There goes a popping on another rally. Rally's gone up, and so is Ray's banner. And they're now killed off that Thorax sword, so they're now having to engage with the Hoplites, and they're going to get charged. Are they winning? Are they losing? Is combat even? And then they're wavering as well. Is that it? Is that going to be it? Are they finally going to do this, Tyrus and Pontus? Jeez, it's been insanely close. And what a finale. Jeez. That is definitely by far and away one of the closest I have ever seen. So well done to Murray. He has definitely topped that uh, siege battle. I'd say the siege battle was a bit more epic because it's a siege and it's like a 3v3. But that was insanely good as well. So well done to him. Um, and Andre, uh, 101 for that excellent, excellent um, battle in the end. They fought so hard and did not give up. And that's what you've got to do. If your battle start goes against you, you've got to just regroup, never give up, and just try and do the best you can because you'll get lucky sometimes. Um, but you're unlucky to a uh, Zari... Uh, Guela Zul, I have never, that is definitely pronounced that wrong, I do apologise, and Alvar, um, Omer, Omer, um, as well, Alvar Omer, I don't know, I do apologise for not being able to pronounce names, um, but they did fight very well as well, did, uh, Gete in Athens, um, but we'll have a look at Murray's results first, I mean, he got 209 kills his noble horse, in comparison to his light horse getting one, his general, uh, Oswan getting 317 kills, well done, that was expected there, Oswan is a solid unit, and his tribal warriors getting 235 kills. Excellent. I mean, most of the others getting over 100 as well. So they did really well. Uh, and then Andre, who was playing as Pontus. His general getting 320 kills. I mean, I'm sure he got lots at the end there, just destroying stuff. His uh, Pontic Peltas, he didn't do so well with them. I think he might have been better just bringing archers. Um, just to, like, match Athens' archers. And then he could have probably and brought maybe a few more infantry. I don't know. Um, but his uh, Peltas got 103 kills the best one. Actually, 109 the best one. And then his Naked Swords getting 179 kills. It's not bad for them. Better than any of his Pontic Swords to the best. Got 66. And his Thoros Spears getting 128 kills. And then uh, we'll have a look at uh, Zari Gwazul, um, who um, was playing as Athens. 140 kills with his Thorax Hoplite. His Hippias Lance is getting 131 kills. Um, and his uh, Thorax Swords getting 244, which is not shabby at all. I mean, I did think some of the other ones didn't do so great. Um, I think it was this one, the 62 here. But um, the rest seems to be pretty damn well. And then um, his hot plight's getting 152 kills, the best one. And then Alvaro, uh, who's playing as Gugete, Um uh, His cavalry didn't do that great. I thought he did better. He seemed to route like uh, Murray's uh, cavalry quite quickly. But he didn't actually do that great. Um, his station bow's getting 123 kills, the best one. Most of them getting over 100 kills. As I said earlier, they are. I think they're a really good uh, bow unit to bring um, to the battlefields. Definitely would recommend bringing them. Noble swords getting 174 kills. Pretty average for them, I'd say. I've seen them get a lot more kills than I expected them to do so, but they didn't. Um, the mercenary axe warriors getting 102 kills. And then the falcsmen only getting like 40 kills. They are kind of a shock thing. You kind of have to send around the flanks. A bit like the naked swords. Um, and they'll do the most damage there. But they are obviously very susceptible to um, being shot at. And then Heavy Spears only getting 10 kills. Kind of just got outmatched by the, uh, I think it was the Tribal Warriors. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed them, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And leave a comment to show your support. And I hope you enjoyed this epic uh, battle. It was, certainly was um, epic. And I, anyway guys, I will see you next time.